Abia women riots, as many storm the streets, demands immediate dismissal of soldiers. The women of Amangu, Ohofia, in Ohofia local government area of Abia State, have protested the continued presence and siege by operatives of the Nigerian army in their community. The women in their numbers marched around the community in the area on Tuesday, demanding for the military personnel to vacate the ancestral capital of Ohofia, Elu Ohofia. They marched down to the palace of the Udumese of Ohofia, Eze Prof. E U L Imaga, where the Council of Ohofia Monarchs received them. According to the women, the continued presence of the army, especially in the community secondary schools, has discouraged their children from attending schools for fear of either being arrested or harassed. They fear that if nothing urgent is done to arrest the situation, their children may end up missing their promotional examination. They pleaded with the monarchs to seek solution to the problem facing the communities. Responding on behalf of the monarchs, Prof. Imaga, who spoke, through his representatives, engineer Prince Uma Abai Olubu, lauded the women for tabling their concerns in a peaceful manner. He promised that the council will give immediate attention to the problem and urge them to encourage their children to remain law-abiding and go about their duties without fear. The armies are becoming a problem. The army are becoming a problem and a bottleneck on the people. The army are now the ones committing the atrocities now. The armies are now the, uh, the bandits that we are chasing. They are now the gunmen. They are now the kidnappers. Yes, we don't have security in Nigeria anymore. Our security in Nigeria has turned to robbery. They have taken advantage of the country. They have taken advantage of this government. Yesterday, someone won't worry that, look, do your government a favor and get IPOP unproscribed. Accept the presence of the ESN. He won't worry. He knows what he's saying. He knows what he's talking about. He knows why he said what he said. It's for the good of the people. Look at these women. They are not young ladies, although they are, you see some, some, some of them are young ladies too there. But most of them are advanced women. And you know, mothers, mothers, oh my God. I don't know. If you are a man and you are making a mother to pass through pains, you will surely pay dearly for it. You will pay. Because God Almighty is going to challenge you. He will challenge you. You understand now? He will challenge you. And it's not okay. In any way. So my advice here is that this woman should be listened to. They should be listened to. The army... Have, are now overstretching their powers. Armies are supposed to be protecting. They're supposed to be helping. That is what they're supposed to be doing, but they have turned to the other way around. They are now an issue to the people. They are now a problem to the people. They, are no, they no longer pay the people. They no longer favor the people. They are now issues to the people. And it doesn't pay. You understand, my viewers? So, with this now, 
that is why we all we say that the government the government should do something about this situation about army terrorism yes it's not army terrorism it's not army terrorism no longer human terrorism no longer ethnic terrorism but army terrorism because it is the army that are now terrorizing the people it is the army that are now making a mess of the people killing the people unnecessarily it is wrong something deserves to be done keeping quiet is not going to solve the matter though i know it is difficult to you know allow the armies to to leave yeah it is difficult i know but i tell you that if the armies leave no the, the army may not be allowed to leave but they should be shown their responsibility they should be shown their own duties they should be shown their place their own place the army should be shown their own place they should stop interfering on people's matters see what the attitude they put up at obibo oh my god we don't pray such happen again we don't because it's an eyesore a complete eyesore i don't encourage i'm not i'm not in support of such uh of such uh, issue you understand i'm not in support so the army should be called to order should be called to order or else things will be worse things will be worse you understand so my dear listeners in the house um i want to invite you on this very matter okay let's um let's let's go into this issue and kiss this issue a goodbye let's do something about this issue let's not just fold our hands okay so if you are new don't forget your comments are very very important don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you